Alright, so my own artillery is hitting. And oh my god! God! My god! What's going on everyone? Nightwolf29 here back at it again presenting you with World in Conflict Complete Edition on the PC. Right now Ubisoft is giving away this game for free through Uplay so go ahead and download this awesome RTS. If you don't know about it it's in the vein of Command and Conquer, Company of Heroes, that type of gameplay top down menu. The Complete Edition also has it that you alternate between the Russian and American sides. So it's going to be a little different if you haven't played the Soviet Assault DLC. Enough of me talking though, let's jump right into this. Alright, we're going to be jumping right into the action. Now, I have actually never played the Soviet Assault DLC. I mean, this game came out way back in the day. So this is a brand new experience for me. The graphics still look awesome. So it's a little different for me playing on the Russian side. This is an alternate reality, Cold War era type of game where after the Cold War, the Russians uh, were at the brink of bankruptcy tried asking for help according to the story America was not about it so now I have to go in and see what we can do here alright so I'm controlling camera with the WASD keys my mouse also controls the height of the camera itself you can also completely pan around pretty quickly as you can see and see from any angle and as always if I need a full view strategic top-down menu alright so I'm gonna go ahead and clear front of this make sure there's not too many people around right, let's see what we can do Alright. Again, like I said, it's weird, you know, fighting against America because I would not be on this. Alright. Just gonna move in. Enemy scout helicopter spotted. We're staying out of sight. Oh boy. Alright, there we go. Fire. Sneaky sneaky. Alright, so we're gonna disable the first uh, anti aircraft emplacement. This is Svesda. Placing explosives now. Alright, placing the explosives. Well done, Romano. One target remaining. Go north. Alright, take out the other one. So this game also is about taking the various objectives, uh, holding positions. Later in the game, be able to call in reinforcements, tanks, bombs, everything. So where we can also bring in tanks, helicopters, fighter jets, all the good stuff. Okay, some reason. So say, why is why aren't they shooting? All right, taking on the second AA gun. Definitely don't want to get spotted by that helicopter. Move there now and avoid detection. The explosive will be detonated when the attack is launched. Alrighty. Time to get out. As quickly as you can. Definitely sprinting away. Go. Mission accomplished. Exfiltrating now. See you in a few days, Lieutenant. Says out. Okay. 
Okay. We have made it out. Those men will disperse and find their way back to us in the coming days. Now you must prepare for the upcoming assault. Expect word within the hour. So go on, out. The explosives will detonate in Alright, so we're back in the action. One mark. Okay, so SC-25 Frogfoots are flying in, attacking the base, unfortunately. I'm now going to be leading in a Russian army to go ahead and attack. Alright, so... As I said before, you can call in various uh, artillery and things. And here we go. Now each of the tactical aids, as they call it, has a countdown timer. This one is about 12 seconds or so. And here begins the attack. Jesus. Now the scale of the game is amazing. As you can see. Showing off a lot of detail. A lot of units on the board and my god, there goes that wall. Okay, so I have my team here. Gonna move on forward. Let's get a better view here. So as you can see, I have uh, some allies as well. I have to move in, take the objective, or secure this area here. My tanks are doing a pretty good job right now. Let's see if we can get some heat going. Okay, so tanks don't fire as well on riflemen, but eventually they will be taken care of. I can call in more for a tactical aid. Just have to make sure not to hit my own people. Alright. I'm going to advance my people forward. Now my artillery strike should be Helping to take out some of those people. Alright, looks like we're definitely about to advance forward. They only have a few more tanks. Alright, keep this moving, keep it moving. As you can see, there are a lot of units uh, interacting at the same time. Just to make sure no one truly comes through. Still advancing forward. As far as not so bad. I'm gonna help out my allies there with an artillery strike. Alright. Still moving up. Alright, artillery strike is pretty effective over there just to help out my allies. Alright, it's new orders. We're gonna flank that area. We're gonna help with some artillery as well. Right, so, that should help to soften up the targets. Okay, 
Okay, so you can see right there. Most of the enemies are pretty much done. Just waiting for the artillery strike to be done, so then not going in and hitting my own units. And we should be good. Like I said, it still feels really weird playing on the Russian side and attacking US tanks, but I promise you, you play both sides of the conflict, so won't be me entirely doing fighting against America. That's definitely not my style. Alright, that was just a quick thing about some of the progress. So when you have uh, two areas to control, as long as you have the units inside there, and the more you have in there, the faster it'll speed up. It'll then create emplacements, machine gun fortification emplacements, that can be used to help hold down the area. Alright. 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 Alright, so that's perfect. We'll have some anti air stuff coming in. Anti air vehicle. Call for two of them. So what's really cool, you can then call in for reinforcements. They're going to be airdropped into the area. So what I'm going to do is put them with my tank unit. They should be coming in soon. Okay, so... My, uh, my allies are at least calling in some stuff. Where? Oh. Good call, Romano. Those units will be with you shortly. I forgot to, uh, <laughs> click the other button to actually have them drop in. All I had done was pick the drop point. But right now, so the deployment's coming. See, there's a timer. There it goes. Being dropped in now. Alright, now that I have some anti-air weapons with me, add them to the group, and we will move forward. And already my anti-air doing quite well against them. Alright, so we're going to move on forward. Call in. Just going to call in some anti-air there. Anti-tank strike, equivalent of the A-10 to so the Su-25 Frogfoot. It's going to come in and just right across, as you can see there. Alright, so we are going to move forward. Anti-air doing pretty well, fighting against the uh, helicopters. Alright, keep moving forward. We have to take on. There we go. So add. Get some artillery support in. Oh crap. Alright. Move up. Artillery is also going to come in on the right, as you can see here. Help soften that up for my allies to come in. Anti-air doing pretty well over there. Right, taking over this position. Okay, and here they come. Crap. 
I see that this one is getting hit a little bit. Unfortunately, I am not seeing a uh, repair option at this time. Crap. Call in some uh, reinforcements to come in there. That was just to make sure, in case of the bridge. Alright, so bridge is secure. We have more reinforcements, that's awesome. Let's see what other units we can have here. Lieutenant, I am reassigning you to Section B. They are forming the battle line now. Take up your position and prepare to advance. Okay. Alright. also take this opportunity to replenish any losses. So unfortunately, I can't get another anti-air, but I think I'm going to throw in heavy tank. Gonna drop them here. That should be good. And drop them in. Alright, so uh, just waiting on the heavy tank to come on in. We are waiting for you, Romanov. Move all your units into position. Oh, don't worry, I will. Now we have a heavy tank, we have some anti air. We are going to be good to go. And let's move on out. Ah, oh, so I already. <laughs> Didn't realize I already had heavy tanks, but that's okay. What's one more? Alright, it's gonna move on forward. Alright, so we're gonna call in some artillery strike. Try and help out. Oh wow, that is a lot of air support. And I already called in an artillery strike as well. Okay, so definitely gonna throw in some more stuff there to help out. Add more artillery there. The big thing is you definitely have to pay attention to the entire battlefield. Just to make sure that everything is covered. Alright, so... Keep on moving forward. Alright, so we're going to keep on moving. Air support is huge. Alright, secure this area. Alright. Just keep on progressing. Help out different people where we can. I need your anti air units now, please. Romanov, I am giving you command of all fire support assets. We have incoming TU 95, but until they arrive, you must use all available support to hold off the American attack. Okay. It looks like we're going to be going all out. Alright, so I'm putting out a massive bomb attack. 
Let's see how big of a bomb this thing's gonna be. Wow. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't see where exactly he was, so I'll... I failed that secondary objective. Otherwise, I definitely would have helped. Bringing in more with artillery strikes. Fortunately, it looks like I lost two of my anti-air. Deploy some more units. Or one more unit, get an anti-air one. Yeah, so call one to all units. Hold in place. DU-95 bombers are on their way to deal with all remaining enemies. I say again, hold in place. So we're definitely holding this position. Alright, so my own artillery is hitting, and oh my god! God! My god! Americans have been destroyed and the avenue is secure. I am immensely proud of you all, but I ask that you honor our comrades who perished here today. Without their sacrifice, this victory could not have been accomplished. So call one, out. Okay, everyone, that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you liked what you saw. If you did, definitely subscribe to my page. Check out more of my videos. More World in Conflict videos are going to be coming. And as always, I will talk to you later.